few more examples on sets now. Uh, question number six states, if power set of A is equal to power set of B, then show that A is equal to B. In your assignments, I have checked that you are not writing the power sets correctly. Please recall the definition of power set of a set. Power set contains the subsets of the given set. So if you are writing subsets of a set, then a new set which will contain all those subsets will be its power set. Okay. So they are saying if power set of A and power set of B are equal, you show A and B will also be equal. So I start with the elements of A. I'll show A is a proper subset of B. B is also a proper subset of A. Then they both will become equal. So starting from the elements of A. Suppose X belongs to A. That means X is an element of A. So the set containing X will be a subset of A. Now where do the subsets of A written? They can be written in the power set of A. So this subset of A will be an element of power set of A. That is why we'll write set containing X belongs to power set of A. Now it is given power set of A is equal to power set of B. So we can replace this power set of A with power set of B. That means the set containing X belongs to or it is an element of power set of B. Now how if it is becoming element of power set of B, that means this is subset of the set B. And if this is subset of the set B, how it can be a subset of B? Because this element must be an element of B. So if we know that set containing X is subset of B, that means X must be belonging to the set B. So we started with X belonging to A and we saw X is also belonging to B. That means every element of A is also an element of B. So A becomes subset of B. Now starting with the elements of B. Say Y is denoting the any element of B. Then the set containing Y will be a subset of B. And if it is a subset of B, it will be an element of power set of B. Again, because power set of B and power set of A are equal. So if Y, set containing Y belongs to power set of B, that means set containing Y will also belong to power set of A. Now, if this is belonging to the power set of A, that means this set is a subset of A. And if this is a subset of A, that means this element belongs to A. So we started with Y belonging to B and we got Y is also belonging to A. That means B is a proper subset of A. So from 1 and 2, we can see A is also a proper subset of B. B is also a proper subset of A. So they both have to be equal. Fine. Then see another one. <coughs> They are asking, is it true that for any two sets A and B, the power set of A union power set of B will be equal to power set of A union B? Justify. See, they are asking us to justify. That means if this is not true, we can uh, explain it through some example. So we can take a set A containing only one element to make our calculations easier. B can also be taken as a singleton set. So A is defined, B is defined. We can also define a union B. A union B will be a set containing 1 and 2. Now look at this part carefully. This is what you have to maintain while writing power set. As I said, you people are not writing it correctly. So see this. Power set of A will contain subsets of A. What are the subsets of A? Null set will be its subset and the set itself is also a subset. So these two are subsets of A and the set which contains both. Can you see the set containing two elements? So the set containing these two elements will be power set of A. In the same way, power set of B will be a new set which will contain subsets of B. These are subsets of B. So we know what is power set of A. We know what is power set of B. Once they both are known, we can write their union. Power set of A, union, power set of B. So you have to take union of these two sets. Null set is a common set, so we'll write only once and the remaining elements. Set containing 1, set containing 2. So this is power set of A union, power set of B. Now moving on to power set of A union B. A union B is having two elements, so it will have four subsets. What are those four subsets? Null set, set containing 1, set containing 2, set containing 1, comma 2. And the set which will contain all these subsets will be 
power set of A union B. Now you check. Are these two equal? You will find they are not equal. This is having only three elements. This one is having four elements. So they cannot be equal. So this is not true. Fine. Now eighth one, it has got two parts. We'll take both of them one by one. In the first, they are saying for the set A and B, you prove A is equal to A intersection B union A minus B. Before we move on to the next step, you understand this part. See, there are two Venn diagrams drawn here and you will find the shading, two particular shadings are equal to each other. If you see this dotted part, this dotted part is denoting A minus B because from A, whatever elements were common to B, we have removed. So the dotted part is A union B, uh, sorry, A minus B. In the next part, I have tried to show what is A intersection B complement. So first I have shaded A with horizontal lines. Then I have shaded B complement with vertical lines. B complement means the area which is outside B. Once both the shadings were done, their intersection was checked. Intersection means the area where you are finding both the shadings. Horizontal lines as well as vertical. So you will find it is this part. So this is A intersection B complement. Now you compare both these in the figures and see are they identical. You will see they both are denoting the same shaded region. That means A minus B can be written as A intersection B complement. How can you remember this? First set as it is, then intersection complement of second set. So this is what I have used to prove the result. So coming back to the question, the right hand side is A intersection B union A minus B. Now this A minus B is replaced by A intersection B complement. See I have written here, result used A minus B is equal to A intersection B complement. Fine, so we have replaced it. Now if you see carefully, A intersection is common among both. So using distributive law, if I take A intersection common, this will be B union B complement. So union of set B and its complement. So if I combine set B and all the elements which are outside B, then it will be the universal set. So it results into A intersection universal set. Obviously, in the universal set, in the set A, what is common? It is set A only. So we get the left hand side. Now coming to the uh, second part, you have to show A union B minus A is equal to A union B. Even here, B minus A, I have replaced using this only. As I told you, how will you write B minus A? It will be first set intersection complement of other. Second one. So B intersection A complement, you can write for B minus A. Now apply distributive law. So it will be A union B first. And then intersection A union A complement. A union B, uh, we cannot define. What is it? So we leave it as it is. But its intersection with this can be defined. If I take union of A with its complement, it will be universal set. And when you take intersection of any set with the universal set, you get that set only because this is the smaller set. Universal set is the larger one and this is proper subset of U. So in their intersection, you will get A union B only. That is the right hand side.